Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 17. It says, A friend loves at all times. A friend is going to love you at all times, man. And a brother is born for adversity. So that true sister, that true brother, hey, they're going to always have love for you. And they're going to be there when you go through that affliction. When you go through those trials and tribulations. When they see you wax and worse, and they're trying to get you, they're trying to get you, they're trying to get you right. And that's the betraying down that good friend, right? And those are the people. That you want to have, you want to you take counsel. Right? Yeah, Proverbs 27 6. But close to the precept. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of the enemy are deceitful. Right? It says, Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Right? And a lot of times, your friends, when they are wounded, right? You got to be there when they're wounded. You got to be there when they're down and out. You got to be there when they're sick. When I mean sick, I mean sick in the spirit. Also sick in health. When our people sick, right, when they getting weary, you got to be there, right? But it says, and it says, it says um, but the kiss of the enemy are deceitful. A lot of times, people come with that kiss, right? Because it, it also said, greet your brothers with a uh, kiss. But you got some brothers, or some sisters, they be greeting you, shalawaming you, and all this and that, but they be deceitful. They have deceit behind it, something. They have deceit behind their words, right? And that's not a true friend or true brother. You see, we shouldn't deal with each other with deceit. When you have anything you have towards a brother or sister, right? Come on. Yeah. You should trade your house out with the kiss. So that's, that's got to be circumspect on that. But yeah. So back to it, though, right? And it says, uh, it said, uh, it says, neither consult with a woman touching her of whom she is jealous, neither, right, with a coward in matters of war. So you got to be circumspect of different things, right? And you know somebody not skilled in a certain thing, you can't like, like, perfect as an example. It says, uh, neither with a coward of matters of war. What you look like, a, a brother, he ain't, you know, he's scary, right? He, 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 he got fear in his heart, but you go ask him. Uh, I think I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go to war. What, 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 what good advice he gonna give you? He a damn cow. Like, you gotta be, you gonna take the advice from some, basically, you gotta be circumspect of also the knowledge or the understanding people have. That's like me. If I know a person, I'm like, damn, I'm struggling with this breakdown of prophecy. I'm not gonna go to somebody that they don't, I know they don't understand prophecy. So they gotta give me a good breakdown, just on a basic level. Well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk to nobody. Right about man, how you how you dealing with 
you know what I'm saying, uh, struggle uh, uh, with this or with that, and they never been to that. They never been to that, bro. Like, how you deal with being, how you deal with, how you, that's like you go somebody that they always had, always got it going on. How you deal with being poor? How do you do it? I'm struggling, right? I'm having all the, I need the bills paid, I need this paid, and I'm going to somebody that never struggled, never went through nothing, I'm asking them, how do you get to it? I mean, they can't tell me nothing. They don't know about struggles. They don't know about being in the trenches. You got a king. Con, and, and that's true though. And that is very important to uh, know who you're getting counsel from, man. So let me get this precept. This Sirach chapter um, 6 and verse 7. If thou would get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. So that's why it goes, that goes into proving a friend. You know, you got to prove that person first before you start telling that person all your, 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 um, your business. You just met this person two days ago and you already telling them uh what's your uh code to your safe in your house you giving them the key to come into your house when you ain't there you know what i'm saying you already let you already telling them that you know so it's very important to, to prove a friend first so you'll know the person the people to go to if you need counsel you know so i just want to say that king You said what, King? Sorry, right, sis and sit. Oh, I'm on mute. Huh. So, right, chapter 6 and verse 6. Be in peace with many, nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. So, you gotta have, you gotta have a select, you gotta have like a select group of counselors, right? Right? Now, select group. Why you can't have about a thousand? You tell this, this looks to your business, to the hood of your business. To the hood of your business, and you can't call for counsel for all these different things. You better have all three different answers. What were different answers? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going to tell this brother. I'm going to take care of this brother. I'm like, no, man, you got to have a select, a select group. Right? Hey, even the Lord, right? Yeah, he, 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 has, a, he has a counsel. He don't need a counsel, but he got a counsel. When he was dealing with, uh, with Ahab. He said, yeah, he talked to me. He said, man, hey, man, I was going to, who, who got an idea what we're going to do? He don't even need it, actually, that. But the, the point is, if the most high have a counsel, we should have a counsel. But we got to be circumspect of our counsel, who we take the counsel from. You know what I'm saying? We can't have yeah, everybody in our damn business. Because everybody ain't going to treat your business the same. Why you, you tell everybody damn business somehow, and then you go around how your business is treated, how everybody knows. Tell them everybody. Not everybody knows. You got that one friend that can't keep their mouth closed. He, he told them. Not everybody knows what's going on. You know they talk. You know they talk a lot. You know there's some people who just can't tell everything because they run their damn mouth. Is that being that is go back to being circumspect, right? And it says uh, back to Sirach, uh thirty-seven. Uh, it says no with an exchange, no with a buyer. Of, of, of selling. So it, it's saying the same thing. Some people just can't talk to you about certain things. They don't know. Just like a buyer and seller. You got somebody that's an expert. He's an expert buyer. He knows the best homes that you can buy. He don't know you can't talk to him. Like, well, think about selling. He don't know a damn thing about that. His expertise is in buying. Right? Or a seller will buy it. His expertise is selling stuff. I'm, I'm, my expertise is getting stuff. I can sell it. When it comes to buying, he's not, he not really on like that. And that's how we gotta be. We gotta be circumspect of what abilities the people around you present. That's and that's going into proving your friend. You understand? If you prove friend, you know about this friend because y'all been proving each other, right? You kind of know that. You know that friend strong. I know when it comes this precept, he he got that. Or when it comes that, he got she got that. You know what I'm saying? That is going. That that is knowing who you're dealing with all together. Like the brother saying, you don't want you don't know nobody from a damn candy paint. And now you get in the coat till say. They know who your grandma is, you know who your grandma stayed, you know what I'm saying? Where your mama grew up at. You know what I'm saying? You get in the whole job, you don't even know this person. You know, they could be a damn Asian. You know? But uh we know it. it says, Lord, with an envious man of thankfulness, 
nor with an unmerciful man touching kindness, nor with a slop of any work. Right? You can't go to a slop of man talking about, man, I need, uh, you know, I'm trying to get more labor, man. What's the thing I can do? That's why, man, what he gonna tell you? All this nigga do is sit on his couch and then play keyboard warrior. I ain't gonna tell you how to labor. How you gonna encourage you to go out there and do works? He don't even know nobody on the radio. He ain't even thinking about doing no damn work. He think about his keyboard right now. You know what I'm saying? It says, with, um, when you work, nor with an ironing of the year of finishing work, nor with an idle servant of much busyness, hearken not unto these in any matter of counsel. Okay, so you got to be very circumspect of that thing. Right? Now we go to verse 4. It says, but be continued with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Right? And that goes back also to, uh, and as and you go in the truth, right? As you go in the truth, you want to surround yourself by the people that's, that's on fire for the Lord. Because that's going to help you keep your flame. You know what I'm saying? Because if you find yourself around somebody that's kind of, they flame barely lit. Right, you can kind of go out, right? I'm gonna give you an example, man. Right? Got exactly the examples, man. Let me see this. You know, so this is how it is in truth. Real talk. This is how it is in truth. This is how it is in truth. You got somebody on fire. I'm talking about they on fire. This you right here. Barely got any light in you. Then what happened? You start hanging out with them. You start praying with them. You start fasting with them. Man, this ain't no light. I had both burning up. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I got to be in this thing. But that's real That's real truth, though. Give me, um, the please ask each other, uh, uh, for, uh, verse, for, uh, verse 9. All right. Yeah, verse 9. Please ask for now. We got to remember, and that's why, and that's also why you want to, uh, and that's going to support the family. But you want to be, uh, surrounded by people that's on fire in this thing, that really take this too seriously. Right, you don't want to be surrounded by people that's kind of, they kind of play with you. Right? They play like they're in this truth, but they're not really in this truth. It's an act to them. A lot of people make it like it's an act. They put on an act, a facade. Right? On the outside, right, when you see them on social media and everything else, you know what I'm saying? They, they follow them, or, you know what I'm saying? Keep the commandments, or all this, whatever. But behind closed doors, they're not really in this truth. Right, they, they, they quote the thing, they got a scripture, they put a scripture, you know what I'm saying? But behind so though they niggas in this world, but they damn, uh, damn hardest, right? You want to be somebody that's really sincere on the fire in this thing. That way it keep you, keep you in shit. Because somebody that's on fire, they not going to sit there and watch their they brothers kind of wax words, and they don't say nothing about it. Right, but you, you got you to preach up king. Kind. That's Ecclesiastes chapter four and verse nine through through eleven. Two are two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. And that's it, that good reward for the labor. Cause y'all laboring together, man. Right? You down and out, now they helping you up. And you they down and out, now you helping them up. So y'all labor keeping each other up, right? And by y'all going, y'all being so sincere, imagine this. You gotta imagine this, man. You got two people, right? They on the battlefield, right? That's like, um, damn. Who was that? It was, uh, I think it's a count that. Where it's two people, like, going to war together. You know, Jonathan, they, they went to war together. They used to battle together, right? Hey, you had, you had people that had, um, uh, 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 uh kind of honor bearer, but they would carry their weapons, right? And they went to war, they went to war together with that person who would have Point is, when you have war in this thing, it's better to be with somebody that's war, which war in the spirit, which not somebody, right? You you battling all these damn demons, and they got their sword, they they sword still in the damn damn suit. They see you, they see you go in your ass kicked by these demons, and they ain't pull, they ain't one time pull out the sword, one time pull out a shield to help you defend against these damn demons. That's not a real friend. Because a real friend, 
they see you getting your ass kicked by them, they're going to pull out the sword. They're going to pull out that long boy. They're going to chop you down. And what is that sword? It's the word. That's how we fight this thing. That's how we help each other in this thing. By giving each other words. By giving each other scriptures. That's the uplifting part. That's the war part. Because we ain't out here battling damn swords, damn knives, damn guns, damn chopping some up. I got you, friend. We're going to go to war. No. You go to war, you go to war with these spirits. And you praying. You fasting together. You know what I'm saying? Reading together, that's how you walk the that's how you walk together with these spirits. Go ahead, King. Con. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he has not. But woe unto him that is alone when he falleth. A lot of us want to be damn long races in this thing. Nah, man. Oh, 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 man. Listen, 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 listen. I'm alone, you know what I'm saying? And you got to get rid of that lonely spirit in this truth. You got to get rid of the loner spirit in this truth. And that's some worldly stuff, man. That's when you're in the world. When in the world, I am a loner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the individualized spirit, kind. The individualized spirit. I'm, I'm, I just do me, man. I'm just me in this thing. Nigga, you going to die just you, man. What's going to happen when you fall? Your ass will keep falling. But when you got somebody in this thing, and you fall, hey, I got you, bro. Oh, since I got you, I got you, man. You want to bust a fast? Let's do it. Hey, what you said you want to fast? Bro, let's do it. Yeah, you go ahead, King. Huh, and even on the carnal level, like you have the military, you know, they they like family and uh, man, they lift each other up. You know, when they go into war, they see if they see one of the, the soldiers got shot in the leg, they literally gonna carry him. They literally gonna help him. They're not gonna leave him right there. They gonna help him up, man. Or if you look into the the uh, fraternities and sororities, you know, they move like brothers. You know, if you mess with one of them, you all along gonna try to come. So how much more us than this truth, man? You know, when we see our brother down spiritually, gotta help each other out. Different type of thing. 
Then not only that, not only got the world to deal with, we deal with other things, we deal with damn demons. Demons play in your mind. You ain't even thinking about nothing wicked. Then a wicked thought just pop in your mind. So we, we constantly always at war. You go to sleep, you know, kind of resting good. There are demons hopping in your dream. Like, damn, what the hell did you come from? So we always at war in this thing. So it's like you need somebody to help you battle, to help you fight in this thing. So we got it. We can't have that individual like individual like spirit, right? I'm on my own. You know what I'm saying? You kind of fold your hands. Yeah, nigga. I got it all by myself. Nigga, you don't die by yourself. But back, go back. You had, you had a point, King, or you used uh, something like that? Oh, no, I'll, 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 my hand was, I forgot. Okay, hand was still up. But go ahead back to the reading, though. This was reading. He said, um, But woe unto him that is alone when he falleth, for he, for he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? So a lot of us, man, we, we be alone by ourselves. It kind of it get cold out here, right? Kind of shivering. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if anybody will be in some cold, some cold weather, but when it's cold, well, it's cold. I'm talking about imagine just being out here, right? And you, you imagine it's cold out here, and you just in there with a t-shirt and some shorts. You got a t-shirt on, and you got some shorts. Hey, man, you about to freeze it up, right? And you're going to need somebody to eat, man. And that's what we need. We need somebody right next to us that's going to keep us on fire. Close to us, that's going to uh, that's gonna keep us on. It burned up in this thing, man. Because it does get cold out here, man. It does get cold. And you need that flame. You need that warmth. A lot of us, we need a warmth. Right? But the only way in order for you to get that warmth, you can't get that warmth from a nigga that ain't doing nothing. You can't say, well, man, I'm, I'm trying to keep that on fire. And you go into somebody that don't even do a damn thing. They not praying. They not fasting. They not studying. How the hell are they going to get you warm? Hell, they cold themselves. And y'all about to, y'all about to, y'all about to freeze and die together. Hop up there. Y'all about to catch hop up But when you got a brother or sister that you know that's sincere and that's on fire in this thing, and you kind of link up with them, man. You kind of, y'all kind of burn together this thing. Y'all kind of burn. Set on fire, man. And that's why it's good to have brothers and sisters in this thing. So rely on that because the Lord, the Lord blesses with that. And you got a sister, a brother, sister right now that you can call up. That's a best. That's a blessing. That's a beautiful thing, man. Let me, matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Let me get that real quick. Yes, I read chapter 6 and uh, verse 14. It says, A faithful friend is strong, is a strong, and he that have found such a one have found a treasure. If you got a friend that you can call or a brother or sister that you can call that can keep you in check or to help resort you or to help uh whatever, man, and that's a beautiful thing. A, help, a friend that can help help you defend these demons, defend yourself from the demons, that's a beautiful thing. And check this, to, your, to those that are married, hey, y'all got to be a friend to one another. You got to be a friend to your husband. You got to be a friend to your wife. Y'all got to help each other to defend Gotta find yourself to be uh, to be defensive. Y'all gotta have y'all gotta have each other back. You know what I'm saying? Damn, the damn woman, she got us sword, you got your sword, y'all kinda stash some things together. Kinda stood up and stuff. Y'all going together. Right? That's how you get in there. Cause there's a uh, a woman is a the the uh, pillar of defense. But just not any woman can defend a man. It takes a woman that's on fire, a woman that's sincere, that's dutching. Right? That's trying to be submissive. That's trying to be shame faced. That's trying to, to seek after the Lord. Right? That's how you defend your husband. She's praying for her man. Right? She's praying for him. She's fasting for him. That's a good defense. That brother, he praying for his wife. You know what I'm saying? Fasting with her. He reading with her. Right? He studying with her. He trying to get her built up in that thing. Right? Hey, baby, let's go over this breakdown, man. You know what I'm saying? And hey, we're going to get into this today. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. That's how you that's how you get that's how you have that that thing. And if y'all have that spiritual, that spiritual, that spiritual bond, 
Like, or whatever. Hey, y'all, y'all, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? And that's just like with that friend. If you got a buddy, a battle buddy, right? That y'all got that spiritual bond, it's whatever, man. Y'all can talk about y'all can talk about y'all, y'all ain't, ain't no falling out. You know how many times you been? You know, I'm sure sometimes you have friends where that y'all can fall. I don't have time for this. I know you I fell out. Man, so I can't even see how I fell out with some of some of the niggas, man. But when you and you in this too, but it's a serious, you got a friend that's a serious, ain't no falling out. Yeah, y'all might have y'all little differences or a time where y'all might not agree. But is y'all falling out? Hell no. Do y'all still got each other back? Hell yes. That's a real and true friend. Like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? You're wild, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all wild, dog. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. But y'all are still all love, though, man. Regardless. And that's how it should be in this thing. And that's how it should be, like, as much as you can. Right? And, uh... That was, that was, uh, that, that, on that point right there. That just made me think about the other point that I want to touch on. As in, we also got to make sure that in this thing, we always uh, portraying love. Portraying love. You got to always find yourself portraying love. That goes back to the law, right? To the law. This is understanding the law, right? This, uh, matter of fact, give me uh, Matthew 22 and 36. All right. Matthew 22 and 36. Matthew 22 and 36. Matthew 22 and 36. Now, this next point, bro, I'm going to touch on is we got to make sure that these people that live in dog that really don't got your best interest at hand. And we know this. You got even family members like that nigga. Every time I every time I see he see me, he gotta say some slick about my friends. He gotta say this, he gotta say that. Right? You might have family that always kinda joke. Or uh, yeah, they don't even joke. They realize saying man, but it's tripping, bro. Talking down on you. Like people don't like you and stuff. You might have somebody to joke. They done did you dirty. They don't hurt you, they don't hurt you bad. We gotta always find ourselves still portraying love. Still portraying love. Right? Because that's what Christ did. We, what the hell, what, 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 are we, what are we doing now? We still be helping up now. He's still showing us love. We still be helping up. He's still showing us love. So who are we to say, well, man, you hurt me, man. You wronged me, man. You made me cry. You did that. You really fucked me up. Be able to have some time for you. That's it. That, that, it fucked me up. What you did to me, that fucked me up. But we can't say, we can't say, well, man, they did that and I just can't, I can't not love them. You ain't got to deal with them on the personal level, but you still got to love them and forgive them, too. God love and forgive them. Go ahead, King. You said Matthew 22 and what? 36. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 36. Um, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Yahweh shall say unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Thou love thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah, well, that means the, 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 the asshole neighbors too. The nigga woman neighbors too. Or the nigga man neighbors too. We got to love them as ourselves. Though they, I mean, they just, I mean, they just, they're all right, disgusting. We still got to love them. But that just goes into a sermon as in just, I'll deal with it. They ain't just gonna sit down, you know the asshole just can't hang around. Them. That just, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A little opinion or something, you know? But go ahead, King. Mm. On, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Let's say prophets. Like, give me a... Uh, Here, come. Oh, no, 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 I said it right. Uh, and then when you find yourself doing this thing, after you got the Christian, they get this part, they like, Oh, that, that's it. I just got to love the Lord. I got to love my neighbor. No, 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 no. It's saying this. If you find yourself perfecting how to love the Lord and love your neighbor, you're going to be keeping all the commandments. Why? Because when you, if you find yourself loving the Lord, you're not you, you going to keep Sabbath day. If you say you love the Lord, you're going to wear your friends. Right? you say you love the Lord, right? You're going to, um, you're not going to eat some shelf for your support. You're not going to do that if you love the Lord, right? If you love your brother, 
right? You gonna rebuke him. If you truly love him, if you love him, you gonna make sure you have his best interest at heart, right? If you love him, you gonna look out for him. And it's uh, all the laws when you set them the law and your, your brother loses his sheep, his oxen fall in the hole. You gotta help him get it. If you lose them, you gotta help him find it. All this going back to love, to still love again. If you go to yourself, you see she poor, she struggling, or that brother that poor struggling, you got their back. The widow, all these things, all this is about love. If you love, you truly love your neighbor, you truly love anybody in Israel, you gonna do your, you gonna do your part. Stop trying to want people to do something for you. You just do you. You can't speak for everybody else. Everybody else ain't got the spirit that you got. But you gotta have to have that man. If you're not showing me that love, I'm still gonna do that. You might have hate for me, you might give me that. I'm still gonna have that. Because that's what Christ did. Y'all still was niggas. Still niggas now. Still love, still gave his life. Thousand, he, did it, he did it so many years ago, he did that. And guess what? He was thinking about you right now. The wicked nigga you is right now, he was thinking about that when he gave his life. Because he know every last one of us. So how much of us? Right? Let me get, uh, uh, first, first Thessalonians, uh, one and uh, three on four and nine. Hold on, Matter of fact, let me get uh first Thessalonians three and verse twelve. Come on, come on. Let me get that for sure. For Thessalonians. First Thessalonians chapter three and verse twelve. And the Lord make you to increase in abide in love one towards another and towards all men, even as we do towards you. It says the Lord. It says the Lord make you to increase in abide in love towards another, towards all men, even as we do towards you. Keep going. To the end, he may. Establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah, with all his saints. So that's how you get that's how you get there. Right? The Lord will establish your heart by you portraying love and, and showing that he loves the Lord's gonna establish your mind. Your mind will be established. And thus, that's how you get established in this truth. That's how you have a solid foundation. Right? When you establish something, right, that's like the, you establish it. That's, Let's get to the word established. What's the word established? All right, get it real quick. Right. Established to set up an organization, a system, a set of rules on a firm and permanent basis, right? Hey, you gotta be firm in this truth. You gotta be on a good basis in this truth. Right? You gotta set up, you gotta get set up in this thing. And you wanna have everything set up just right in order to set yourself up right for success. Right? You know how like you got the motivation speakers. Set yourself up for success. Well, this is how you set yourself up for success. Loving the Lord, loving your brother. That goes back into the law. Right? Seeing some words of success, it says, to the end, he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness. Right? You gotta be unblameable in this thing, man. You don't wanna make no, you don't wanna about to say, dang, you know what? That nigga, they all got something to say. You wanna be blameless in this thing. You wanna be blameless in this thing. 
you want to like, like, hey, when it comes in, like, you know what? I don't know too much about them. I don't know, I don't really know them like that, but hey, they, you know, they be, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you, you don't want, basically, you, you send a bad example to the ministry. Because best believe, when you walk around with your fringes, when you got that head, you think y'all sister, when y'all got your head wraps on, y'all got your dress, y'all looking all body, they don't know who you is. They know what's going on. They watching, they watching us. We got to be blameless in this thing. Even to them people that not in the truth. Got to still show that love, that love and compassion. Right? And it says, uh, I'm going to go, uh, there's a, uh, go to uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 9. Matter of fact, no, start at verse, uh, Start at verse uh, 2. 1 Thessalonians 4 and 2. Yeah. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Yahweh Shai. For this is the will of Yahweh, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. You know we got to abstain from fornication, right? You do fornication with all kind of women. You know what I'm saying? You can fornicate them woman, 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 man, man, woman, woman, man, them in spiritual fornication. It's such thing as spiritual fornication. So you want to abstain in a fornication, not just having sex with people that you don't want to have sex with, but also spiritual fornication. You want to be spiritually fornicated. Because Israel has got it for That's why the Lord, that's why the Lord have, uh, that's why the Lord have uh, did what he gets us. Why? Why the Bible says that the scripture says, but Israel has played the heart. How can Israel have played the heart? By dealing with other things, right? Other than the Lord. Right? You got whatever you're dealing with, you need to be the most high God. Plain and simple. Because if you're not, if you're dealing with our doctrine, you're dealing with uh the damn crystals or the whatever you want to deal with that's not that's not the most high, you you commit a spiritual fornication. And thus, you don't have to go, you know, you don't get that, that rod, that flame, man. Not the good flame, the bad one. But, um, keep going, keep going. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. So you gotta know how to possess your vessel. This is the vessel. So you gotta know how to possess this thing, right? How many, when you have something right in your possession, you have it in ownership. You gotta take care of that thing, man. Right? This is not. Let's get a piece of say. Uh, one that rule over his spirit is better than uh, one that take of a city. Mm. Uh, is that pro uh, is that pro is that a proverb? Is it six and thirty-two? Uh, Let me see. I pulled that the other day. Five verse sixteen to thirty-two. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sixteen. Con. He that. He said, "He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. He that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city." Mm -hmm. So you gotta, hey, you gotta have that control over your spirit, man. Can't let it wild it out, right? Gotta have that control of your vessel, right? And this is the vessel. And, uh, and thus, can you can't control it with yourself? Do you gain control by yourself? No, because that's when you lean on your own understanding. We done did that before. It as in you're controlling it as in you letting the Lord lead you. That's how you truly get control of this thing, by letting the Lord guide your vessel, by letting the Lord order your steps. Because if the Lord has ordered your steps, he is ordering how you maneuver with the vessel. If you get what I'm saying. If the Lord, if you have, if you leaving the Lord in charge of your stuff, and you leading him to guide you in everything you do, now you have a better control of the vessel because it's gonna be it's gonna be ran by both side. And that's what you want. Because you don't want to be leaning on your own understanding, because then you, you you're gonna be you're gonna be messed up, man. You're gonna be out there. All right. 
So you know it. It says, uh, oh, I'm so sloppy. Go, go back to first, first Thessalonians 8. You said go back where? Back to first Thessalonians um, uh, 4 and, and 4. Come. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and in honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles would. Right. Uh, so and you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, uh, you wanna make any mix you have honor. That's going back to being blameless. And they brought this other priest that I was talking about later, Lord, all these steps, right? And it says this, uh, first, I mean, second Thessalonians chapter three, verse five, and the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God, into the patient waiting for Christ. So we got to let the Lord direct us, direct our hearts, our minds, to the to his love. Right? You can't try to lean on your understanding of God. You direct yourself. You got to let the Lord direct. And that's something to pray. Pray that the Lord direct your mind to his love, into his love. Because the Lord that gives it to you, so you gotta pray that Lord direct your love to Him, from Him, and instead of that patient waiting of Christ, which we got patient, we always got patient on the hour side, right? But I'll go back to that thing. Um. Uh, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God. So you don't want to be like them, man. We know, and when we talk about like Gentiles that know not God, it's, it's, it's Gentiles that live don't know God, that's not God and not for them. But it's our people too. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's, it's like right now that don't know the Lord. They don't know who Moses is. They say also that my people be destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right. So you want to be as though you don't know the Lord. That's basically the saying. Don't sit up here and live your life like you don't know the Lord. If you know who the Lord is, you know how terrible it is. You know how, how and you know how loving he is in the same breath. You need to know that. Like you need to move like you know him. As in keeping these commandments, being sincere, being diligent, being blameless to the ministry, striving for perfection. Act like you know who the Lord is, man. Keep going. Come. That no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter. And it goes back to, boom, what we were talking about before. All this is, is, is all for a certain. What do you think Paul was talking about? Defraud his brother, right? What was Paul talking about? Let's get there. Let's get there. Uh, I'm going to get, uh, go to Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 14 through 17. All these things in the law, man. Right? You said what? Leviticus? Uh, verse 14 through 17. Leviticus 25 verse 14. And if thou sell, and if thou sell aught unto thy neighbor, or buy it aught unto thy neighbor's hand, ye shall not oppress one another. They go into the fire. You don't want to oppress your neighbor, bro. We cannot oppress our own people, man. Yeah, we already oppress enough. We going through enough already. Don't be a part of oppressing your own people, man. Keep going. According to the number of years after after uh, the jubile, jub, what, jubilee, jubilee, jubilee. Thou shalt buy of thy neighbor in according to the number of years of the fruits he shall sell unto thee. Leviticus 25, verse 14. But mainly, verse 14. Come. Um, now go to Deuteronomy go chapter 24, verse 14. Leviticus 24, verse 14. You said Deuteronomy 24 and 14? Deuteronomy 24 and 14. Thou shalt not oppress 
and hire a servant that is poor and needy, whether he be of thy brethren or of, or of thy strangers that are in thy land within thy gates. How you come back? How, how, how you come back them? Right? We cannot. Oh, we cannot oppress our people. Right? We cannot. We gotta check our spirit. You make something. That's why I always you gotta. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you don't offend or you offend no one. You know what I'm saying? As in, damn, and I hurt her feelings. And I hurt his feelings. You know what I'm saying? How I came out of. You know what I'm saying? We gotta. We gotta be circumspect on that. You know what I'm saying? And this is the thing that when you, you know the Christian, they like to say, well, you know, so the Old Testament, nigga, you know, where, where did they get this from? Where did Paul get this from? He got it from the Old Testament. He didn't just, just wake up one day and say, yeah, don't defy none of your brothers. No, he was a student in the Old Testament. So you got to know the law. That goes back into it again. The law teaches you how to do these things that you're supposed to be doing anyway. But go back to the uh, first Thessalonians chapter four and verse six. First Thessalonians four and six, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such. As we also have. You got to remember that. Don't try to find yourself trying to avenge yourself. Hey, you got to put a lure in you. Somebody do you dirty. And hey, just give it to the most high. Just give it to the most high. Let the most high deal with that, man. Because the Lord, he is an avenger. And we know that. And Lord, the Lord will avenge you. The Lord said, I'll, I'll avenge my adversary. Right? So we just got to remember that. Hey, let the Lord avenge you. Don't try to find yourself. They done did me there. Now I'm finna do to me. No. Cause now you've been a nigga in this world. Now you still, now you act like you're in this truth. In this truth, we move different. That goes back into being moving separate from this world. But go ahead, King. Well, was that first Thessalonians 4? Um... Yes, 4 and 6. 4 and 6. Uh -huh. um, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such as we. Also have forewarned you and testified. For Yahweh has not called us in, unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. Now it says, but lie has caused to uncleanness, but to holiness. So the Lord called us to uncleanness. Where do you find, what, what do you find about things being unclean and uh, unclean? In the law. How would you know something was unclean? You gonna go to the book of Matthew? Yeah, they got precepts on, oh, you know, what's unclean for you and what's not. No, you gotta go dig into the law and understand the laws of uncleanness and the law. Because Lord, they call us to be unclean. Law of separation. Do they talk about law of separation? The only time they talk about law of separation is in Luke, when they talk about um, when Mary had uh, the baby. That was it. Uh, Someone like that, yeah. That's the only time. So well, how would a female know about law separation? You think the Lord said, yup, now that Christ came, you know what? Y'all females, you know, y'all on y'all period, everything, y'all on y'all flower, y'all do whatever. Let's do whatever. No. How would you know about that, though? Unless you get into the law. Simple man. But a lot of people don't see it like that. So the Lord has not called us unclean, right? Yet again, how would you know what food is unclean? How would you know that pork is unclean? How would you know that shrimp and shellfish is unclean? How? Through the law. You know what I'm saying? But uh, keep going. For Yahweh has not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despises, despises not man, but Yahweh, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. That's mean. Read that again. He therefore that, he therefore that despises, despises not man, but Yahweh, who hath also given us unto his Holy Spirit. If you find yourself saying, well, you despise, you know what I'm saying, 
these murderers. You know, this bothers me. That, that's like for the brothers that, that, that's out there that's labor. No, or the sisters that, that's out there, that like when you, when you, let's say, boom. Because <clears throat> you know, you're not, I know sometimes y'all sisters, y'all career real other sisters as well. <laughs> if they offended, man, they ain't, they, they ain't just, they despise me. They despise me over that guy. You brothers, if you out there laboring and people like, I don't give a damn what the hell you talking about, get the hell up out my face. They despise you, they despise most high. Success. I was telling my head, this law is everything we need. The law tells us how to love, how to have faith, how to get Kim, got it, Kim Khan, how to move in this truth. Uh, the law tells everything. If we keep the law, I was supposed to with sincere faith. You, uh, and you can't be unfruitful. You can't fail cons, right? And you don't want to be unfruitful, man. Because if you are that, if you that tree that's not bearing any fruit when your outside come, ain't gonna crush you like you did that fruit dog in um the scriptures. But you gotta keep. Con, I I I had thought about when I read this. I, um, you know, we on the highways and byways. You know, we ask our people they got two minutes for the words of the Lord. They be like, Nah, I don't got time for that. I don't got time for you. You know, without knowing, you know, they, the Lord, you, they doing that to the Lord. They not making us mad. You know, they doing that to the Lord, man, because we only His messengers, we His servants. So when we when we say that y'all got two minutes, you know, that's from the Lord. You know, that, we doing this for the Lord. So if y'all shoot us a bird, y'all cuss us out, y'all throw stuff at us, y'all want to fight us, y'all not doing that to us. Y'all doing that to the Lord, man. That's making the Lord mad, not us. I just want to say that, though, Kim. Yeah, that's, that's my point, though. And that's what really be going on. They, they be, a lot of people bad. They not people good for that. Like, a lot of people, some of y'all, y'all don't see what's going on, but if y'all haven't seen nobody go out the woods, right, and actually been there to sit through a whole camp, you, you might see, you might see camp videos but it's a lot of, a lot of times, a lot of shots that you don't see. But people, they don't have no time for the Lord. They, 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 man, bro, we done had, I done had, I correct this sister one time. This sister literally wanted to fight me, bro. Literally wanted to fight me by me showing her love. But she wasn't despising me. She was the most high. You know what I'm saying? I told sister, they said, yeah, you can't, you can't be, you can't be dressed like that. She had no damn clothes on. So she's kind of getting mad, she want to fight. Because I showed her some love. But yet again, we got to understand that it's not people despising us. They despise the most high God. She despised, she, that day she despised them. We done had dice on the fighters. You know what I'm saying? They kind of get mad. Like they want to be mad that day. You know what I'm saying? But they don't, they don't never come up now. They kind of they kind of talk the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? They kind of talk the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? But they don't never like come to the fuck up. Whatever. Point is, our people, you got to understand, but it's all spiritual. It's these demons that's on them. These demons is that's the spies most on God. You got to kill them. Kind, that sister said she wants she was gonna shoot you in the face, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you talking about that sister? You talking about that sister who was on South who was on South Side of Tallahassee? Yeah. Yeah, she talking about she got a gun in her bag. She was gonna shoot you in the face. You know, that ain't talking about that sister. That ain't her too. You know? Talking about don't talk to me. You know what? I don't think it was done. It was time it was at uh GBO. I probably won't do Yeah, she was trying to fight again, man. This time I did GBO, but that, that other sister, too. Hey, like, I forgot about it. So, since you want to shoot me in the face. So, it's like, it's you know, awful. you can't get into this. This is the wrong part of this, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, we don't take it to heart. You know, we know our people, they sit there. They just sit. That's all. Con, the sister brought up my point. How Moses said our murmur was against us, it was to the Lord. That's fact. And we got a we gotta really think about that. If you find yourself trying to help our people and stay, and they kind of get mad whether you're a sister, brother, whatever, understand that person had that issue. They got an issue with you. They got an issue with the Lord. Cause you're not, you not got real. Why are you coming out here? Are you coming out here for yourself? Or are you coming out here for the most high God? What words are you speaking? Are you speaking your words? Or are you speaking the oracles of God? If you're doing what you're supposed to do. Don't 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 get don't be don't get sad don't get upset 
But it's hard to not get upset. It's hard to say he can say that and it's done. But when you in those trenches, people say something like, bro, like, bro, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? They be, they be wild out, man. They be on flex. It's a whole other world. Come on. Spiritual warfare, man. War right with demons, man. Literally, war with demons. It be going crazy. But in the end, you know, I, I love it. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. But we gotta understand that if you find yourself despising these scriptures or anything like that, uh, hey, hey, you despise most of God. That's straight like that. And uh, for the precept on murmuring, uh, check that out. Uh, how Israel murmured against Moses, Exodus uh, 16 and 8. Now, I'm it. And Moses said, This shall be when the Lord shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, in the morning bread to pull, for, for, for that the Lord. Hear your murmurings, which you murmur against him, and what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord. And we also got to be circumspect in that too. As in, with that very passage, the Lord took care of our forefathers. He made sure they were straight. They had nothing to worry about. But they still find themselves complaining and murmuring. Don't be in that predicament where you find yourself complaining and murmuring against the Lord. Because you're upset about something. They ain't got to. We gotta be grateful in this thing, man. Yeah, we might not have it all. We might not have everything that we want, but don't be grateful because the Lord, I promise you, the Lord gives you what you need. You get what you need. What is, what, what is the thing that we need? Matter of fact, I think that was what you talking about, that king. The man have, uh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. But that's all right. Um, that's not right. Uh, that, I got you. Sorry, right, twenty nine, nineteen. Wait, sorry, right, twenty nine and twenty one. Thessalonians 4 and 9. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you. For ye for ye yourselves are taught of Yahweh to love one another. Mm. Jesus, I don't need to write about that. Don't you have to write about that. Why didn't you have to write about that? Because he knew those brothers had their love. He knew those brothers had compassion. That's why, that's why, that's why I told y'all, when y'all read this thing, I gotta read this thing. It's, it's literally love. Because when you just look at it, you look at the, when you read the beginning of all those first Thessalonians, Paul was like, man, I'm happy, I'm happy to see y'all, man. I can't wait to see y'all. Like our brothers be seeing each other at home when we're on the side of the camera, we be happy, like, damn, bro. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? We be happy. You know what I'm saying? That, that's all love. But he didn't have to teach them about love because he knew that 
just they're just trusting oh that's a life. But they they had that love. They had that love. But that's what we gotta have that love. Just as that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh let me get uh this other priest up and I'm gonna fold out first Thessalonians five fourteen. First Thessalonians chapter five and verse fourteen. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort. So it says, "Hey, warn them that are unruly, comfort them that are unruly, and exhort them that are unruly." Go ahead. Come on, um, the feeble minded support the weak, be patient it towards. Says, com okay. it says, comfort the feeble minded. So we gotta comfort those that's weak, that has got a weak mind, right? We gotta comfort these people. We gotta be com we gotta comfort our people and say they need comfort. They need comfort. So comfort those that you know weak in the same, that's weak in the mind. You know this supposed to battle that. You know that step of the battle that. Comfort them. Let them know, hey, brother, just keep fighting. It's going to be all right. Keep enduring, man. Just, just keep on. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, a lot of times they think, I'm, I'm not going to win. I'm not going to win. Come on with Paul, but they, they, they can win. You got to know you got to come. You can win, brother. You can do this. You can do this, sis. You got to comfort the people, right? And it says support the weak. You got to comfort the people, right? Right? And it says support the weak. Be patient toward all men. So we got to support, comfort, and exhort our people. And we got to be patient with them. Right? It says, See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourself and to all men. Right? And then, My bad, you said for my bad. Second Thessalonians full of ten. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse ten. And with all this deceivable deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love or the truth that they might be saved. Verse 15. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught. Well, for, I mean, it's like whether by word or our epistle. Right. So, brothers and sisters, stand fast and hold to the traditions which ye have been taught. Right? Stand fast. Hold to the traditions which ye have been taught. Right? Stand fast. Stand fast. Hold to Right. 
favor. But if anybody got anything to say, pre-sale, we'll bring out brother, you can bring it out, or sister, whatever. I just thought about something like even like going back to Ecclesiastes 4 and 9 when it said two are better than one I just thought about like if you look at love if you ever see a love bug you know that how they both together right and even if one of them die the other one's still pulling it though like it's down or it might be hurt the other one's still pulling it though like it's taking them wherever it go at so that's how we got to be in this truth too if our brother or sister down, man, we got to pull them. We got to keep going, keep pulling them with us. Like, that's how I got to go.